Hello, welcome to the channel. Tonight we're looking at the first Alice layout keyboard I've ever tried and built, the Monskeek M6. I'm recording this video around midnight, which actually sparkled the idea for the title, so welcome to our first midnight journey together. Let me know down in the comments how you like this format of a video and if there is a particular build you'd like to see. Now relax, sit back and enjoy. Today I'm building the silver version of the M6. It is also available in black and purple colorway and all cases are fully CNC aluminium and boy oh boy is the case heavy with around 2kg in weight. The keyboard's layout is 65% Alice layout and I think it looks absolutely stunning in its boxy format. This is typical Monskeek's aesthetics that I've been enjoying with bulk, almost brutalist bezels and really non-apologetic raw style. Although there are two very different keyboards, the style has always reminded me of Ramaworks U80 and the rest of their lineup, uh, and I think it will definitely look great in my functional product design office. The keyboard kit comes with a set of echo stabilizers. Uh, echo stabs are not my first choice really, but this is the second or first time using them and they've always been absolutely fine after some basic lubing. Uh, they don't really need any balancing. The job is even easier here with M6 as because of the split spacebar, you only have small stabs to work with. For lubing, I'm just using a standard Crytox 205. And now it's time to assemble the keyboard. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I'm using all the provided foams with this build. So what you can see here is a switch pad that I've put on the PCB before installing the stabs. I'm also adding in the boron plate foam. And after that, I'm installing the polycarbonate plate onto the PCB. I'm now installing the insulation silicone layer, as well as adding both of the case foams. The case also benefits from force break mode, which simply means uh, putting few pieces of a tape to absorb the vibrations from the lower part of the casing. I've decided to use the Apple Maker Wisteria switches that I've had lying around for a bit. I think they will go well with sort of the idea of the build I have in mind, which is a little bit thockier, deeper sound. Um, I didn't have enough switches, so I had to basically help myself with a few leftover uh, Apple Maker Bluebird switches. I think both of these switches are, from simple tests, pretty similar in its sound, but the Visterias are a little bit louder, a little bit clackier over the Bluebirds. I haven't really tested the switches properly yet, so more comprehensive review will come a little bit later. As keycaps I'm using the Canon Caps 407 from Canon Keys. They are cherry profile PBT keycaps and they take inspiration from a vintage keyboard with these sort of red symbols, which I think definitely goes well with the idea that I'm going for of a vintage terminal type of look. Okay, we're almost done. And last thing missing is to test out the keyboard. Bear in mind, I've never ever used Alice layout before. So this is going to be a raw first attempt of me typing with this type of layout.
that's definitely a change from my typical 120 words per minute that I consistently get. But I'm not giving up. Uh, I absolutely love this keyboard and I want to spend more time with it and typing on it. So stay tuned and hopefully I will upload a video soon with me absolutely smashing the new layout. It's so hard walking with Kedin Slavia. 